Hello, beautiful people. Welcome in. Welcome in. Happy, happy Thursday. I'm going to try my best to stay a little better in frame today. We'll see if that works out. Hey, just finished him. Didn't just be right back. No worries, j Rob. Welcome in to Thursday. I'm just going to prep the nails like we always do. You know, I'm trying to see what's out. Maybe this way a bit. There we go. Maybe that's better. We're just going to play around with some camera angles, I guess. Everything's about playing with something, right? <laughs> I got a little froggy in my throat, it seems, today. I just took a sip of water to kind of help that out, but we'll see. Thankfully, the thunderstorm is not supposed to start till after the stream, so we'll hear to that, right? So I should be able to get through the whole stream without power outage. Fingers crossed. Hopefully I get through the stream and I'll be able to cook pasta before the, it happens. I am here lurking. Volume is low today. My volume is low today? Or your volume is low because you're working? I hope my volume is not low. But welcome in, Sandy. Welcome in, J-Rob. I was like, wait, was that Sandy? <laughs> yes, I have it on full blast. Oh, well. Thanks for letting me know. Um, it says it's on full blast. Uh, I'm going to have to call the hubby down because he's the tech guy. questions that I have. Hmm. Yes, I have it on full blast. I'd have to get the hubby to come look at this. I don't know what's going on. Maybe just make sure nothing's pulled out. On mute, maybe? Let's see if that helps. I don't know. Might have to get the hubby to check that out for me. But I don't want to scream in your all's ears. So I'm going to have to send him a message. I'll get him to check that out. Because he's the one that knows how to do this better than I do. Do, 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 do. I think I already did the properties. I don't know. Interesting. He says he's gonna. <coughs> he's gonna. Oh my goodness. Let me drink a sip of water before the flies get in my throat. He says he's gonna check it. falling down everything's falling down it's a merry-go-round mary poppins 
Just make sure I have it on the right thing here. Hopefully. Oh, that's interesting. The hubby's saying he can hear me on his. I wonder if anybody else is in here and can give me feedback. Oh, I can hear me. Yeah, thanks. I heard you walk out of the room, babe. <laughs> Walked out with his phone on. It's weird when I can hear my own voice. Ugh. It's one of those things you don't like hearing your own voice. It sounds like aliens. <laughs> My volume is fine? Okay. Oh, sorry, Sandy. I don't know what to do to help you. Maybe try reloading it? I don't know. Sometimes life just likes to hand us lemons. It's my famous thing of saying. <laughs> But I'm glad you can, I'm glad it's not my thing. Cause I know I was playing around with it today, adding some stuff in. So, it very well could be me. It could have been me because of, you know, playing with my stream stuff before the stream. Yeah, I know how that is. You know what? I'm trying to get a better angle. So I make sure I stay in frame. But at the same time. Ugh, come on. I don't like angles that are sideways. Let's see. The wrist is there. Maybe that, we'll try that out for a bit. Maybe that'll be better. So it's more of a just playing nails today. I know I said I might go back to character art today, but there was something I wanted to try out that I saw. So I'll show you a quick clip of it in a second. Because I wanted to see how that effect really works. Because you know how you, sometimes you see somebody doing it and you're like, hmm. Now I'm going to try, but, you know, it doesn't always work well for yourself. <laughs> but we're going to try. Oh, hello, Wendy. Welcome in. Welcome in. I want to try thermal nail designs. Yeah, I only have color changing polish. I guess it's the same as a thermal because it's, you know, hot and cold. But I only have six colors of those. Which actually I can show you guys. I've done a couple of them that you can see on my Instagram now. The color changes between them. And we did the one on stream. But I literally, I don't have the best colors for the thermal. But I can show you my color changing polish. Ooh. I just like to wipe the dust off. Yes, you don't have to do it, especially with press ones, but I just like to because I don't like any little flyaways stuck in there. But, oh, let's grab out Look, the ones I have. <coughs> so, we have this one, which is a blue to a dark purple. This is the one we did on stream. This was the one I did the other day, the like light beigey color to the dark orange. And then this one is a nudie pink to like almost a black, I guess. And this one's a green to like a dark navy blue. And this one's an orange to a brown. Maybe I did that one instead of this one. I wonder which one I did do. Might have been this one. Oops. See, I don't even remember. And this one's a pink to a brown. So. 
Those are the ones I have. Oh, okay. You're talking about doing blue and orange and yellow and making it look like a thermal image. Oh, you know, I haven't done that. I've only been playing with the color changing ones and magnetic ones. <laughs> and of course, you know me. I'm always playing with the pigments. I wore 10 different thermals to PE last weekend. Ooh. 10. That's a. That's like a. Almost like I gotta catch them all. <laughs> gotta catch them all, right? With that Pokemon stuff. I just wanna turn up my volume here. I can hear people out cutting their grass. Each finger different, right? I'm trying to get it before the storm comes in. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not looking forward to this storm coming in. But you, we, you know, we dodged every thunderstorm that's happened all around us. But for some reason, our little subdivision we live in is a pocket of like, eh, not here, not happening here. And then like, I'll drive five minutes down the street to go to Freshco to buy something and it's a whole different ball game. A whole different ball game. I'm just hoping, because I know it's not supposed to start till like 7 something. I'm hoping I will have my stream done and my pasta will be all cooked and ready to go in the tummies before we do lose any power or any of that nonsense. But you know, we can never be too sure. Because you know, Mother Nature likes to do whatever she likes to do. And we just roll with her punches. Okay. But I did the guy did write me back. I just whoa. You ladies and gents, it's the moment you have all been waiting for. The arrival of Kayla. Oh gosh. No no, we weren't all waiting for that. Did it work okay, Kayla, on your screen? It worked over here. I didn't know it was the moment we were all waiting for. But I guess it was. Maybe. But I'm glad that worked. Like I said, I was messing around before stream. Trying to get some fun stuff added to the stuff for you guys. To use up some of your points. Because I know you guys like having something to interact with. I know I do. So I put up ones that I think will be fun, but you know, if we don't like them and we have to change them out, we can do that too. We have a few options. Thank you, Sandy, for that redeem. I love the world's smallest violin. I, I do that to the kids sometimes, you know, when they come to tell me something. I'm like, <laughs> you sit there and you go, you, you know what this is? The world's smallest violin. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I'm a little bit of, I, I put a lot of the SpongeBob ones there because, you know, I do like my SpongeBob. And since, you know, we do like to do some character art, which we haven't done Spongebob, but he's on the list. He is on the list of what we will be doing eventually. Is there a way to turn the volume on the redeems down? It's crazy loud to me. Yes, I can. We can turn it down a bit and see what happens. I 
can try, you, next time there's one up playing, we'll see if that's better. Not, I'll turn it down even more, but I don't want to turn it down too much and then you guys don't hear it. <laughs> so you guys let me know if it's still too loud. I know, I was playing with them all, I'm not gonna lie. I see the, ver the redeem was a perfect volume for me. That's f weird. So they put in the th that one and that one work better. Are, are you on headphones, J Rob? That's weird. See, I don't know why that would be the perfect volume when the volume on the mixer was the same for my volume that I speak to the same as the Tangia volume. But I decided, eh. interesting. I'm a little confused, but. We will see, I guess, how it goes. Mm. Talking is much lo lower than the redeems. Okay, well, we'll t I turned down the redeems a little bit. I, I have the headset at max volume, so I don't know what's going on. Maybe if I move my mic closer. Hmm. That's interesting. I wish, I wish. I don't know. If I showed you guys what I was looking at, it's all max volume. Except for Tangia, I put that one down now, but why is it doing that? Hmm. It's not fair when things don't work the way you want them to. Um. don't know. Interesting. Well, hopefully we'll figure it out. Should be the sound mixture on your broadcasting software. Well, I'm... <coughs> Was that lower, the redeem now? Thanks, Sandy, for the Turtle moan. Is, now, I, did the redeem sound a little lower? So I did put the tangia down a little bit. That sounds perfect. Okay, I just don't know why for some people my mic seems to be low today. I don't know. Are you trying out one, Nova? Cause you're singing dream, 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 ma, and sing with me for the laughter, sing with message with me in tears. Oh, okay. That's hilarious. Made me laugh. Well, I thought because, you know, we do have Koopa, the tortoise, and we do have turtles, but I don't show the turtles because I'm not catching turtles. It would be fun to do that. <laughs> Hopefully these will make the stream a little more funny and a little more enjoyable for you guys. Let me try a few for a test volume. Yeah, no worries. Um, what was I going to do here? So this is what I saw today. I'm just trying to get into my Insta. So that's something I wanted to try a bit, but I don't. I think I might do it with black polish. Oh my god, that one's hilarious! It's good. If I put the nails in the right position, he'll be licking the nails. <laughs> um, where am 
am I going? Use your noodle. So I don't know if you guys have seen this. I saw it on Insta today. What are you doing? Don't worry. What are you doing with my thing? What did you do? But I kind of wanted to try out this to see how that really looks. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ah. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Nova, <laughs> you kill me. He came over while I was showing this and did that on my screen. But I'll put it on one more time. But I thought that was cool. Oh. I'm not supposed to be put. Turn off the volume. But I've not tried this effect and I kind of want to try it. But I don't know if I want to do white on white or if I should do black on white. Or I was thinking maybe I'll do black on like a green pigment powder. I don't know. But I just wanted to try that. I think it'll be interesting. What are you doing? I, I need 20 more points. Sir. You need 20 more points. Okay, we'll do one quickly and then get out of my computer. Okay, child. But I need space to do my work. Might have been a bad idea putting this on here now that we got Nova who's obsessed with this stuff. When I get goodness this boy is going to have me dying of laughter so I'm gonna do yeah, we're gonna play whatever going with the flow of it but hopefully you guys saw what I'm tempting to do I think I think keyword think but I shouldn't think that hard thinking that hard could be a problem Trying to make sure the mic is nice and close for anybody that's having issues hearing me. I don't know. Everything, there always has to be some kind of glitchiness to my stream, I feel. But I know. No, it was like, give me points. I was like, I, I can't just give points. It doesn't give you that option. I wonder why. Because he just loves to play with the text-to-speech stiff. We know this. This is the Nova thing to do. So we're going to go with this. My music is built into my headphones, so sensitivity that you can hear me swallow. Whoa. I don't know if I want that kind of sensitivity. <laughs> <laughs> Mine is in my headphones. It's not really built in. I'll show you guys the headset I'm using. I use this. So it has a mic here. This is the same headset I use for gaming. <laughs> so that's the that's the headset I'm on. 
this is the one I listen to everybody else's stream on too, unless I'm in my bed. If I'm in my bed, then I'm on my Aftershocks. It's like, it has a name on there somewhere. But that's the one I use in my bed. So the hubby doesn't have to hear what I'm streaming or listening to. What streamer? <laughs> I put those on and attach that to my phone. But when I'm down here, I'm on this headset. <laughs> well, this one's this one was actually I don't know. It's a K. I don't know what brand it is. Just K light up headphones. Just the K light up headphones, and these were I think only like twenty bucks. So they weren't that expensive and no Nova just I just got him a new set because his broke. And his were a regular price I think it was thirty three dollars, but they were on sale for prime uh, for prime week for uh twenty one dollars. So ironically his broke at the right time because I could get him the exact same headset he had the last time for pretty cheap. They have some pretty cheap, decent ones now. Yours are Phonicas, that's what it's called. Or is it Phoenix? I don't know. Phoenix, it's Phonica's. Whatever. Knock off. Whatever. So, thankfully my kids haven't asked for the expensive headsets. They just go with what they got. Those are bone conducted ones, right? Yeah, my Aftershock? Yeah. They're the bone conducted ones. I like those from outside. So I can hear people walking behind me or the trains coming. Because, you know, we got a lot of train tracks. So I like the bone conducted ones when I'm outside. That, and I use them when I'm cooking, listening to music, so that way when the kid's like, Mom! And I'm like, oh. Because I used to have a headset on all the time. And they always used to complain. Because when I'm cleaning or doing something, I'm always off in my own space. <laughs> but yes, they are the bone conductive ones. I think those ones were a hundred dollars. And I've had them, well, Christmas will be two years. So they were worth their value because this is a s December will be two years. And I haven't had to replace them or get a new pair. But they're not waterproof, so, like, don't try swimming with them. Don't try to swim with them. But I do like them. The volume is really good on them. I love it when I'm outside and I'm, you know, with the kids playing or rollerblading with them. I just talk on my phone without having to really take my phone out. So, I must say, it was one of the well-spent things for myself. There's not very many things that I splurge on myself for. I always do the hubby and the kids. And I always put myself at the bottom of the barrel. <laughs> oh, there's a place of fur. Cause these darn dogs and their shedding. Can't wait to get all the, for them to finish blowing out all their fur. So I can really clean up the fur because you know it's hard to clean up the fur when they don't blow it all out at the same time <laughs> it's just keeping up on it keeping up on it you know what I'm going to wipe that off just because I saw this and I don't like it <laughs> I hope everybody's having a fantastic Thursday. And it's nice to see the new petty line that's coming out for petty people. I know there's a bunch of people here that don't like feet. So I know you won't be pet purchasing the petty stuff. <laughs> Unless you're working in a salon. Because we had the feet discussion before. Are 
you kidding me? Two nails I didn't get a good final on. right? Didn't seem like the bully type walked right up and told me you look like a cookie bite. I said you could be right. But I'm not the lucky type. What the heck? No one in the house, everybody. <laughs> How do I know? I don't even have to look at that to know who that one was. I am happy with the price. I didn't even, I, I guess I was in the middle, in and out, so I really didn't see, hear the, pr no, I think it was five, it was like five dollars for the f one p box, I think it was, I saw. So yeah, the price doesn't seem unreasonable at all. But I think we all kind of knew what the big secret surprise was going to be before it happened. Because they've been talking about this pay line for a while now. But I'm kind of glad that the first one they decided to try it was aloe, like a... Because... More, like, more likely most people would be okay with that smell. Some people wouldn't be okay with, like, certain smells. Like, I know some people are allergic to lavender. Some people are allergic to... The mint. Some people just don't like the mint smell. So... Kind of good that they came up with like a basic one to start with. My personal opinion, anyways. I do like the chrome colors by the looks of it. They look like they're very chromey, I guess. I don't know if that's a word, but they look very chromey to me. But I, I love playing with the powder stuff. So, like, I have been putting more of, like, the pigment powders and stuff like that into my, uh, wish list. <laughs> so, hopefully I can get some more of them eventually. Because <laughs> I do like playing with them. This is why I think I might be going with the green comb powder over this. Today. Just because I like to play with my powder. Sometimes, because it's this gel polish, you can go like this to get it to pull where you want it to. Okay, 30 seconds on that one now. 30 seconds. But I hope you guys like the new little redeem stuff. Oh, I tried to put some phone stuff in there. Yes. That's funny. Right now the sun is blazing out of the sky. It looks nice outside. 
But I know by, I think it was seven they were predicting our storm was going to come in. But you know Mother Nature, she changes her mind like she changes, like, like you change your underwear. You never know what to expect. Like the, every day that it said we were supposed to get thunder showers, we had a little bit of rain, but we had no thunder. It was a couple times where it, like, it started to thunder, but it only lasted like five minutes. And I was like, well, so much for telling me it's a severe thunderstorm. Like, I expect when you tell me a severe thunderstorm, it's going to be lasting a bit, not five seconds. But I get it. The weather people are just predicting. And that's just based off the science and what's been learned from the generations. They are never, they can never be 100% accurate. Oh, come on. Why are you gonna be flipping and flopping around? because it doesn't like me okay <sighs> and I had to buy I think I'll call them garbage gloves because it's the only thing that they had at the store and I had run out so yeah now yeah make lemon with lemonade so we are going to come in with this and I want to grab a green. I want the greens. I want the shroom. I want a green one this time. We're gonna try a green one. I don't know why I decided green, but uh, I just decided I want green. But these were the gloves I had to get because they didn't have my blue ones and I don't like these. But you know, you work with what you got. So, we are going with these nasty ones, as I like to say. Like, when I put something on like this, I feel like I should be working at a subway. <laughs> or some kind of fast food restaurant. What? Or dying hair, yeah, that's true. But I call these the crap gloves. <laughs> I hate them. But, you know, as I always say, beggars can't be choosers. Which green do I want to go with is the question. Hmm. I kind of want to go with this light one, I think. I think we're going light. If I can get this open. See, this is what I envy the people that had different colored ones is you always have to be careful which container you're opening but this is how this kit came sometimes I think about buying containers and just dumping these so I don't have them but at the same time it's great for storage but at the same time it's a pain in the arse my nails are looking muddy uh, are you trying out your pigments j -Rub? or just because you need to get your nails done because you haven't done your nails in a hot minute. Oh, there we go. Kind of like that green. Yes. Oh. Well, what I do for my pigments, there's other people that do a bunch of other different tricks, but I put the first layer thing on like you saw me do, which I'm looking at this one. I can see it's already cracked up a bit, so hopefully uh, it won't powder won't kill it that much, but powder always shows every flaw and look at that one it's pretty flawed but I'm hoping I can come through and it will once I top coat it it won't be as bad but you never know what I do though is I put the one coat on I fully cure the, the first layer then I come in with the second coat and I only put that second coat in for 30 seconds so it's extra sticky as you see these gloves are sticking to it <laughs> And then I just can you you make what? Yeah, save that pasta for supper though. 
Because I'm making that pasta for supper. But don't use all my cheese. Maybe we'll do a two-toned one. Do we do two tones, I wonder? Maybe we'll do a light, this light green at the bottom and a darker green at the top. Ugh. See, I posted in nail art pics. Okay, I will right, check it out. See, this, these gloves, I hate them already. They're sticking to everything. Ugh. Okay, let's first check out J Rob's thing. Ah! Nail art. Mm, Discordia. And that was after you top coated them? I, you know, it kind of reminds me, especially the, this nail, it kind of reminds me of the lava. I don't see it as muddy per se. Are you talking about like it going on the outside of your nail? Like like right here? Like the outside part there? Cause I know that happens with me. I, usually what I do is I top coat what I want to save. And then I wipe off the excess before I fully top coat everything. Yes, I top coat it. Hello, Black Crystal. Welcome in. Yeah, what I do is I top coat what I want to save and then I wipe up anything that might have went a little haywire. Because with pigments, you know, things will go haywire. Nothing's ever, I guess you'd say, perfect. Or at least that's what I think. <laughs> These are so sticky with this gloves. Oh my goodness. This is going to be an adventure. Why did my store have to be sold out of my blue gloves? People should know they're only for me. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Well, that's the thing. I'm, um, I top coat the colors in between each color. Top coat between each color. Uh, no, I... I, um, when I'm doing multiple colors, I will, s the, maybe on the layers, yeah, m actually, maybe that would help, because I know, like, the certain things that I'm doing, like, with this design today, I will top coat before I come in with the stamping, because that way, if I have to erase a stamp, I don't ruin all the pigment underneath, so you could try doing that in layers, because I know when I don't want to ruin something, that's how I do do it, I do m many top coats, I know, like, that sounds almost overwhelming and ridiculous but you know I guess sometimes we have to be there for the overwhelming and ridiculous like this one I can already tell you like I don't like the fact that this is cracked right here but we're hoping that we can still work with it and hide that flaw up because you know sometimes we do get flaws in our nails but sometimes I find that flaws in our nails can help us maneuver through things a bit like this one's really cracked up now. It really bubbled up. But I'm still gonna go with it because last chance I can just replace that nail and redo another one. As long as I remember the recipe to how to make it. I have two layers of each color. Oh, you did two layers of each color. Mm, I've never done two layers. Oh my goodness, see look, there's a couple of these that cracked up. I don't know, I, th I think maybe it's Beetle's polish. It doesn't like to work with me that well as the Mellow, whatever the heck you pronounce it does. But it's okay. We learn. We make mistakes. That's what we're here for. And today is just trying something out. So if this doesn't turn out as good on 10 nails, we got the practice in and we can come back and remake these nails better. But yes, if it's something like, especially if I've been using pigments, I will top coat before I put stamping or anything on because I just don't want to ruin all the pigments that I've already put on because I have done that before without top coating it and I don't know if you've seen on my Instagram the vacation nails the one looks like it has like a yellow orange line in between it because it didn't blend the way I wanted it to 
the second time trying to redo the nail because I didn't go back in with the white, which I should have had that sticky layer, but no, I thought, hey, I can just do it anyways. But that's the thing, we learn from our practice, right? And it, it's like my husband was always telling me, you ha it's okay if you waste a little product. Practice is what makes the nails look better. But I know, when you're tight on money, you don't want to waste product at the same time. But we're going to do a lot of layering. I'm also wanting to see how if the thickness of these nails will be too thick and I won't like it. But I wanted to practice this because I have an idea of what I want to do for a set for my, my next set for myself. But I wanted to practice this out first. And we'll see what happens. I'm going to eat dinner and try again. No worries. I'm sure you'll get it. Just maybe try extra layering. Uh, tr I really find that you really need that sticky layer. That's why I, like, I will put the second coat of white on and then I'll only cure that for uh, 30 seconds. But say I wanted to like make lines of this. I go in and top coat what I want to save. Then I just come in and wipe it off with your swipe or rubbing alcohol or whatever you want to use. And I just ruined this a bit already. So I don't want to... I wanted this to stay a little white, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here, try to take out some of this pigment that I accidentally put up, spilt over. But I don't want to take away the sticky coat, which I might just have done. So, nope, it's still a little sticky. That's good. Okay. Keep us posted up. But I haven't done the multiple colors on top of each other like that. I've normally just like the, like this kind of a style with one after the other or um not that blue. That green. Maybe I'll go with this one. Uh, decisions, decisions. Why I don't like to make decisions. Uh. Um, do I, I don't want that one. That one's too dark. I kind of want... No! Stop opening the same one! There we go. Like I said, that's the one thing I hate about this thing. It keeps opening the wrong that I don't want to open. But I'm trying to make sure I stay more in camera angle this time. So I'm not hiding while I'm doing things. But I like to... I do have the habit of doing things close to my face. So I do end up going out of camera zoning every so often. Let's see if this is the color I want for the top. I think it is. I hope it is. Yeah, I kind of like those two together. Hopefully it sticks enough. Nope, it didn't stick enough. This is why I wanted to try this one first. So I'm going to try and save the half that I did with the light. Come in here. Try to wipe up a bit of this side. Let's see, see the... I also practice on trying to fix it, and if I don't like it later, I just remake this nail to go with this set after again. Because like I said, a couple of these have put some cracks in it, so obviously the, it pulled and I had too much polish there. Which happens sometimes. Can you do something blue? I'm obsessed with blue. I would like to see your being creative someday when you are in the mood for it. We can do something blue. I have no problem doing something blue. I know there's a lot of blue and purple fans out there. I'm just going to come over with this a little bit. And... Because I don't want to make sure I don't mix anything in there. We're going to cure that for 30 seconds. And see if that fixes it. But yes, we can do something blue. We've done a couple blue things. Because we did the beach set on here, which that was a fun set. 
That's the set that got auctioned off at the silent auction for the community to raise funds. That was fun. This is kind of giving me watermelon vibes. I guess these are the colors maybe Kayla might have used. But we can most definitely do something blue. Last week we did something yellow. And I never do yellow. <laughs> I think I just discovered you a few days ago. Probably I just missed it. Yeah. We try to do a bunch of things. Different colors. We do a lot of... Uh, nail art, which we're still, we are still going to continue it. We just haven't gotten to it yet, but we're going to go back to finishing my Doctor Who set. The character set that I want for myself. That we've been working on. It's just that I was supposed to be getting ready for a vendor event. Which, I'm still writing the guys. I might be doing one next weekend. Fingers crossed. I just have to finish getting them all the paperwork filled out. And see if they still have room for next weekend. My fingers are crossed. We did yellow, which is something I don't wear. I don't wear yellow, ever. I don't think I, unless there's been like a neon yellow in my nail. Like a smoky nail or a nail like this that I'm wearing right now. But that was a yellow set I did. And I'm not a yellow fan. And... Um, yeah, I'm a red, I'm a black, and I'm neon color pigments over black kind of girl. <laughs> so, I'm a, I'm a bit of a dark soul. <laughs> so, it's been interesting for me. I've learned to start to embrace more colors than black. My friends always used to laugh because I go get my nails done. Black. Black. Black with red, black with white, <laughs> red with black lace. <laughs> Those are my go-to styles. But everybody has their colors. My daughter's is purple. She she loves purple. But, you know, we all have our favorite colors that we go for. I know, I, I know, I've noticed there's a lot of people that like purple and a lot of people that like blues. And I thought there was more people like me out there that are red lovers, but I guess not. <laughs> As I'm slowly finding out. But I am liking this little combo of these greens. Like I said, I want to get more pigment powders because I don't really have anything that's like a good red that I like. And I, like I said, my favorite color is red. So I'm still trying to find the red pigment powder that I like. The closest has been pink. And well, since pink is close to red, I'll go with pink, I guess. I'm a nude black blue for me with a little bit of glitter. Well, glitter is always fun. I've been or loving orange this summer. Wendy, you're into the oranges. I'm really into orange when it comes to the fall time. I'm not gonna lie. I do a lot of. It seems I always I go to a lot of orange and fall colors during fall. Because I like a lot of, but I like a lot of, like, Halloween is my jam. Halloween and Christmas are my two favorite things in the world for seasons. I feel like so much of my boyfriends call me Morticia sometimes. I black dress, navy blue clothes, so much of my colors for me. Yep, I'm... This year's the first year my husband will even say, like, oh, you're not wearing black? Yes, I own colored clothes now. Don't make it a thing. <laughs> don't make it a thing. I don't. I'm, black is just, black is always in, okay? 
Okay, so we're going to move this over to here now. We're going to come over here. We're going to dusty dust off anything that's not cured in nicely. I like to sometimes really make sure I got all the corners so I take them off the stand so that way I get around the nails as well. Whoop! As I drop a nail. Dropsies! I'm liking this blend though. This blend of color minus the little cracking I keep getting in some of these but it's okay I can fix the ones that have cracks in them later to make the set nice. Again. I take these bags off. Sorry I missed that. I was eating dinner. No worries. Black is classic. It tr It is. And you know, black is supposed to be slimming, right? That's why us women especially like to wear black. It makes us look slimmer. <laughs> or at least it's what our heads tell us. Okay. <clears throat> Just waiting for this last one to come out. And then you know what? I think I'm I think I'm gonna not top coat this one this time. Eh, no, I think I'm gonna top coat it. Maybe we'll try the top coat recipe of things. So we got what? Three bubbled nails. The rest are decent. See, it happens sometimes. Sometimes there's too much polish pulling in the one spot. I know it's not the lamp because I'm using the brand new lamp. Oops. And I tested the brand new lamp against the old lamp and they both do the same thing sometimes. So sometimes it's just the amount of thickness I put on that I think I'm doing a small thickness and I don't. Okay. So... We'll go in with the top coat. Top coat first. We're gonna get all messy here today. Trying out this new thing because that's what I like to do. Oh wait, why am I using my good one? Let me switch. I already did this, so let me just finish off this nail. But usually. And this is why I'm doing this. Because in case any pigment picked up in that one. I use my sparkle top coat, not my good top coat. Because if it has any sparkles or pigments tracing into it, then it doesn't matter. It's my I keep the other nails looking bleak. We're going to see how this effect works today. This could all backfire. But I want to try it out. And I don't know why I went with green. Just that there was a whole thing of green and since I'm wearing the purple, blue, and pink. I was like, I didn't want to go purple, blue, or pink pigments, so I wanted to do a different color pigment. So we went green today. And maybe because I'm going to put black stamping over it. And I think it'll contrast well. I really, I've, I've, I've been playing with ideas for the background of what I want to do with this mousse on my nail. That's going to be my next set I'm making for myself. But I want I might be doing this kind of an effect to it. So I want to see how this works. Before I do my nails. That way I can retweak the plan if I need to. Because that's what I find most of this is. Is retweaking everything. 
and sometimes a little bump or crack in things sometimes can add to the thing as long as it's coated properly that it doesn't snag on something so we're just going to check that out okay let's put that into the Nucatron I do like these two greens though. This kind of reminds me of like a cantaloupe or a watermelon. Before you, you know, that sp watermelon spot, just need to add the lines. Not the inside of the watermelon, the outside of the watermelon. This is fun and adventurous. In my brain, this is going to work on the nails. I'm not sure. But that's how all our ideas work, right? They, you see something and you're like, ooh, I think I can do that. And then you start to do it and then you're like, mm, mine doesn't look as good as theirs did. What did I do wrong? So my brain it tells me this is going to work nicely, but you never know, you know, like they say, you can play with fire, you're going to get burnt. Well, being creative, sometimes you can get burnt. They're not going to work the way you want them to, and other times they're going to turn out better than you even thought they would, and you'd be like, whoa, wait a minute, I wasn't expecting that to go there, but okay, I am not disappointed. I love happy accidents. Those are some of my favorite nails. But I'm making. I was supposed to make pasta for supper last night, ended up not to. Whoop. Can you not get girls? Well, do I know the answer for you? It's woman magnets. Ding ding, ever since I bought it, I got more girls. What the heck? What, the magnetic nail polish, Nova? You like the magnetic nail polish? Is that what you're saying? Just remember to behave. No pickup lines here, buddy. Note to self. Nova going crazy. Okay. So, we got that. There we go. Now, ow, I dropped my phone. I don't know why, but my stomach is feeling a little off. So I'll chug back some more water. Let's see if that helps. Now, what I'm going to do, because like this thing said, I'm going to take this guy out, and then I'm going to take out some horn gel, and a new set of gloves. These are going to be horrendous for doing this part with, I bet, any money. Oh, come on, gloves. One... I don't need three. I don't have three hands. <laughs> Definitely don't have eight hands because I'm not an octopus. <sighs> okay. Oh. Put one finger in each hole. Oh. What the heck? Why is it sticky again? I was in the right wasn't on its side this time I swear it just likes to do this to me messy <clears throat> okay so now we're gonna come in with a hard gel layer a lot of these people have boulder gel that's in uh 
polished forms. Unfortunately, I do not. So, we'll be going this way with this and seeing how this goes. I'm going to move these off. I just want to do almost a thin layer of this, maybe? Are you going to grab Taylor's sign? Oh. I don't want to, I don't want to build it too thick, I don't think. I think I just want a thin layer. Which normally, I, this is how I put the base layer down, then go in to build up when I'm doing a overlay. But I'm not doing an overlay, so I don't really want the build there. Kind of just want a layer of, I guess, dimension. <sighs> or maybe I do need a bigger layer. But we're going to try with the thin layer. And I haven't played with this stuff in a while, so my skills are a little off. It happens, but it's all good. Ugh, and these gloves aren't working. But, we're still gonna try. <clears throat> these gloves suck because they're so much bigger and like, nastier for my hands. Okay. Ugh. But, I'm still gonna try. We'll see how this works. I might try to buy the builder gel in the mm -hmm. bottle. Cause it would work a lot better. This is a tragedy gone wrong. I'm sure if I make it thicker, it'd probably work better, but I want to try thin layer because I don't want press on nails to be too thick. So we're going to try with a thin layer. And see how if it works that way. If not, we'll have to do it with a thicker layer. But I just wanted to try that effect out. Because I don't want to make the press-ons too thick. Like, who wants to wear thick press-ons? Not me. As I'm being stuck to everything because of these darn gloves. Ugh. They better re they better have my gloves in stock the next time I go to the store. I'm gonna be pissed if I have to go weeks and weeks with these. I will use them because I have to, but I will be pissed. Because it does not work the same way. Okay. Should have made a text to speech of maybe just being angry. <laughs> okay, I just close that up for a minute. <sighs> Hopefully this will work out. <sighs> then we have the next set that we're gonna do. Oh, see what I'm saying? These gloves just... These gloves are going to make me want to rage quit today. <laughs> rage quit! But I know this first nail's done. Now, what you want to do, because we'll be using 
stamping on top of it. We want to take off the tacky layer. And see, because we top coated that, we should be okay. <laughs> yes, it most definitely. That's exactly what's gonna happen to my nails. It's gonna blow up. <laughs> Cause like it's just ugh. Can you hear this? Anybody that hates sticky or ASMR lovers, like, do you not hear the stickiness of this nastiness of these gloves? I hate these gloves with a passion. Yes, I love the I love the Joker movie, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, we're taking off the sticky layer. Mm, I need a new one. Those are the best. Yeah, I was looking for a good blow up. I didn't want to use the same one as uh, Ramon. So I was like, hmm, what options do I have? Then when I saw the Joker one, I was like, hmm, <laughs> that feels like my life. Yeah, I don't know if any of you guys have it, but you know how, like, things keep going wrong, and then you just, you're like, fine, I'm just gonna walk away from it, whatever, I'm not gonna bother with it, and then all of a sudden, like, something happens again, and you're like, oh my gosh, are you kidding me? Like, I didn't do that on purpose, because I knew this was gonna happen. That's the kind of thing I have. Okay. So we have this top layered with a little bit of the gel, hard gel on top. You can see it's got a little bit of a glossy look compared to just the top coat. It might be all in my head, but that's okay. Ugh. Now, over time we can change out the different ones, put in new ones. Just trying it out to see what ones the streams like. I had to put the same thinking one as Ramon though. The, the oh, what's it called? I forget what it's called. If it's called just thinking or whatever it is, but just because that's exactly what it feels like. Anyone that's just thinking, that's exactly what your brain feels like. You just feel like you're being swarmed by mass symbols. And this is not normally how you apply hard gel. You kind of go like this and bring it down. But I'm really trying to make this as thin as possible. Because this is a press-on nail and I don't want it to be too thick with all the layering. So I'm trying to just make a nice little thin layer evenly through the whole thing. So kind of like how you would start your overlay. You just put a nice thin coat on to make it stick before you start adding your structure. I'm going to see if that works, but I feel like I might have to make it thicker to get the effect like that video I showed you guys. But I just want to try. And you know what? You see me do it and it doesn't work. You know what not to do, right? Do better than me. That's the whole point of me experimenting for you. You don't have to make all the accidents. And then if I make a happy accident, then obviously, you know, copy away. Because <laughs> I don't believe anybody should hoard their nails. Because, I'm sorry, I'm not going to... If I was the only person that could do it, I would not be doing it. Because, you know, I don't want to do the same nail over and over and over and over again. I'd rather have other people doing the same artist work, you know? Even though, you know, no two artists are the same, so it would always be a little different.
These gloves are just way too darn sticky. Ugh. I feel like singing that song, Sticky Icky Wee. And this is definitely not a shake it off song. Because this is so sticky, you can't shake nothing off. This is like when you do that flour and, uh, what's it called? Flour and honey tricks to s on somebody. Make them all sticky. Okay. <sighs> Done playing with this mess. Like, the stickiness. Ugh. Ugh, I hate sticky things. <laughs> I'm gonna have to wash this bottle off later, so I'm gonna leave that out and not put that back in 100%. And, yes, I should be cleaning this off on my tile, but I don't have my tile or anything, so it's just gonna lightly clean off any excess onto a paper towel. Which, put paper towel in my thing, but that's okay. Because I'll clean that up better later, because it needs a lot of cleaning. Ugh. But I hope you guys are enjoying the new stuff. I, I, I'm not gonna lie, the pickle one I liked, um, cause I love pickles. I, I, I don't need a reason to eat a pickle. I'll eat a pickle. Maybe that's what I'll do, um, just so I can eat more pickles. I'll redeem, just so you guys can redeem me to eat pickles. <laughs> cause I'd eat pickles every day. You know what, I'm taking these off. Cause I've had enough of being sticky in here. Ugh. Ugh. You don't know how to make a cheese sauce. What did you screw up? You do realize you you do not you do not boil it. Yeah, you gotta pay attention when you're making cheese sauce. I've told you this before. Well, you're just having curly cheese. That's your problem. Don't waste food. This is why I tell you guys. It's okay to cook, but don't waste food. Mm. Okay. I'm gonna have to top coat these later. I've had these on for two weeks now in the grub. I'm gonna have to t soon take them all off and put move them up like back up. Uh, they're getting a little out there now. But it's all good. We'll see how stamping with these gloves are gonna go next. Yay! I already know. I don't like playing with hard gel in those gloves. That is literally the death of me. But it's okay. One nail. Just wiping off the sticky layer. Oh. Cause you know. We don't like sticky layers sometimes, and sometimes we do like sticky layers. And then every time, other time, I feel like I'm the commercial for, uh, you know, I kind of just noticed these two are off. There we go. That looks better. That one's probably a pinky. That one might be there. That one might be there. This is a thumb. A thumb horrific. Okay. Now we'll see if the stamping has that effect. I really think it probably has to be thicker. But, you know, we're just going to try with what we got. And see where it goes. Mm. But I do like these two greens together. 
And I am not a green person, but uh, just like I wasn't a yellow person. It doesn't stop me from trying things. Okay, besides the point that now my nails are sticky. Sticky icky. <laughs> okay, we are going into the stamping phase now to see if this effect works. I'm just debating. White or black is what I'm going to do. Maybe a combo of white and black. Hmm. The decisions. We got this. We got this. Which is connected to a nail. A chrome practice nail. Ooh, with a couple of chrome patterns in it. Put that into our handy dandy jar. I feel like, you know, Blue's Clues handy dandy notebook. Our handy dandy jar. And, um. Can you two stop bickering back and forth in the kitchen, please? Okay, well, can you both stop? Thanks. Thanks, have a great day. Um, let's, ow! Stab myself with my tweezers. That's always fun. Really have to clean up my nail station at some point this week. Uh -huh. Um. Uh, there we go. Um. Kind of want to do one of these. Okay. And because I didn't clean up my plate the last time, because well, who cleans up after themselves? Not me. Okay, we have everything. Gloves again. Round two. Oh no, this is like round three of gloves. My goodness. Um, maybe we'll try a white and a black. A white and a green, I mean. No, white and black. Why am I going to do green on green? That's like my mom. True story. Funny story time. <laughs> My mom one day made hash browns, potato, uh, sorry, hash browns, french fries, and scalloped potatoes for a meal. We were all like, would you like some potato with that potato with that potato? Like, holy crow, potato? Now, I'm sure someone like potato sauros who likes potatoes might like that. Me, on the other hand, I was like... Okay, could you throw in a piece of meat or some veggies or uh, something besides potato? I, should, I, I didn't ask for supper to be potatoes three ways. Okay, let's clean up this one. Okay. We are going to maybe we'll try the white first on one. Maybe we'll do this one white. Let's see how that looks. We actually got a pretty darn good pickup. What? Gotta love when things work in our favor. Right? Now. I'm gonna maybe say... Because this is a curved one. We're gonna probably come down here maybe. Kinda like that. And maybe we'll do another white one. 
top. I know this is not the best nail to do it on because it's got the, that uh, whole bubbles in it. But hey, three out of ten nails bubbled on us. It happens. Oh, I, I'm gonna, uh, well, I just went and collected the wrong stamp and then ruined it. Well, that's okay. You know what? No, I'm gonna I wanna do this one black. I think this one black at the top. I'm gonna change my mind anyways. Changed my mind. Pretty decent pickup. Oh, I, the kids are driving me crazy, and I just messed up my stamp a bit. But it still flowed. It won't look as even as the rest of them, though. But it'll work. I likey, I likey. But I kind of wanna. Maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Mm, maybe gonna put this here. I'm gonna try this two tone thing. Maybe, maybe, maybe. This could be a fail. But you know what? We all like to try things. Ooh, I kind of like how that one turned out, though. That ooh, ooh, do I scratch that idea? Ooh, 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 ooh. Kind of really like how this one turned out two toned. And maybe I want to change the leaves to that. Hmm. Hmm. Nope. Going with my original plan first to try out, and then maybe I'll go back. What do we think? Yay? Nay? Should we finish all like this or should we change the lease? What does the stream think we should do? Jera likes it. Is the acorn in the middle an yay or a nay? The two tone acorn. Hmm. What do we think, stream? Sandy likes it too, so I guess we'll go with it. We'll do the whole set like it and see. I know that because this one has a bubble in it, it's a little different, difficult to see. Well, we're going to try it out. We'll try out the next nail. Let's see how it goes. So we just gotta remember which ones we did. Well, I have kids bickering in the kitchen. Breaks your confidence. Uh, not your confidence, your concentration on what you're doing when you hear everything in your kitchen falling apart. Crash, bang, boom, pans on the floor. Okay, so we kinda wanna keep the same there. We got it there. And then we want the black on the top. And then we we'll try to do that two-toned uh, acorn again. I find one of the quick things about the picking up is being quick. Figuring out how p how hard you have to press. The door is not closed. Well, the dog better not have taken off. Because his dad's been gone for a hot minute. Okay. 
and we're gonna come in with the what the heck is going on there what are you doing pasta. I thought it says he made pasta Oh, you guys. So you're trying to recook the pasta? Don't burn it. Do not waste my food. With experiments. I don't know if about anybody else's kids. Have been. Your kids all watch these people that think that they can experiment and waste food with nonsense. Yeah. Sometimes the kids are like, can we just make... And I'm like, no. Can we try to make these... No. In this house, we don't waste food. <laughs> But, you know, they see it on YouTube or TikTok or one of those places and they're like, let's try this. Okay, I think we got the placement there. And that's the second nail. Without the bubble there, it looks really nice, actually. Interesting. Now, before we go any further... And we make our sure this is what we want. <laughs> We're going to top to those two. My teen makes TikTok recipes, but they're usually okay. Only waste one time when she misread the cooking time. Well, that's not too bad. My kids will be like, oh, they mix a bunch of drinks. Can we put hot sauce and all this stuff in bottles and we'll all sit with straws and do this? And I'm like, no, no. And <laughs> you, you will bring the gremlin out of me. <laughs> Do we go with this? No. I can go with the regular top coat because I don't need to use the sparkly top coat because we've already top coated this in. Okay. Ugh. Let's top coat these and see how they look top coated. See if we like the effect. Definitely think you definitely need the more hard gel on the bottom to make the kind of like effect, I guess you'd say. I don't think I put enough, but we'll see once the top coat's on and cured because you know, top coats make it or break it. <laughs> And mind you, I should, maybe I should have rewatched that video, but I know she was using a builder gel that had the uh, brush application, which makes it a lot easier. I'll eventually get some of those, and then maybe try it again if it doesn't work out, or maybe even try a thicker layer of it. But we want to see... What's going to happen? Perfect. Perfect. It's perfect. Why does that seem so watery? Hmm? watery you, you made your own noodles? No. That was the noodles Sissy made? Oh, okay. You guys turned off the stove and didn't leave anything on the stove, right? <sighs> I swear, they, they also wait till their dad goes out. So I'm stuck with the chaos. Because they know their dad is anti everything. <laughs> As they say sometimes, anti fun dad. But you know, daddy grew up poor just like mommy. Just mommy lets you experiment a little more than daddy does. And you know, when you grow up poor, you, you, you learn and certain things, you know, you don't play with. And food is definitely one of them. I just laugh when you say, oh, money doesn't grow on trees, but, mom, they're made out of paper. And I'm like, uh, no, technically it's made out of plastic. <laughs> Canadian bills are technically plastic. Oh, I don't know if I got that in the right position. Well, good enough. Could still stay on. Okay. But they do, they do enjoy growing crops with me just like I said this year I didn't do that because 
I wasn't sure if we were going to try and hit vendor events or if we were going to go on vacation or what was going to happen. Because I don't like to be like, hey, somebody, can you uh, watch my plants? It's already bad enough when you got to find somebody to watch your dogs. <laughs> and you, you don't want to be like, hey, watch my dogs, watch my plants. Um, oh, I don't like how that landed there. That little tiny... Oh, wait, actually, forgot. I brought Q-tips down the other day. Haha. Uh -huh. This is a Q-tip job. Don't have to use my nail to do it. There we go. Beautiful. Oh, there's one over here. Beautiful. <sighs> now, we come in for the switcheroo we. Okay. Now, we're going to try this again. The top of the acorn. And the black. The bottom of the acorn. And the white. Oh, I think I got that one a little more mixed up, but it'll do. I just got cool. Uh, uh, it works, I guess. Ah, stuck to that one. Something is not sitting right in my stomach today. What is it? Oh my gosh. I just got cold goosebumps over my whole entire arm. I don't know if you can see that. Something just hit my stomach very weirdly. Oh my god. That's not cool. Imagine someone watching four dogs, 200 chickens, my husband's never taken a vacation together. I can see why, yeah, that would definitely be a hard one. I probably blow up my own nails too because I want to know what the heck is going on with my stomach. Why is it doing that? I only had today was a grilled cheese and a slice of pizza. I ate food. <laughs> sure, it might be a little bit high on the dairy, but last time I checked, I wasn't lactose intolerant, so it should be fine. So, this is it top coated. Let's see. The first nail top coated. Minus the little cracks in there that, you know, you can fix that nail later. This one didn't have a crack, so we'll see how that turned out. I still think you kind of need the, the gel to be a little thicker, maybe. But it does make it more, like it, I don't know, it feels like the gel, even with the thin layer, Makes the stamps pop out a little bit more than when just directly stamping. That could be just me. And I could be biased. That could be a thing. But there's something about it that does look a little different than normal stamping. I don't know. Could be just my head. Or it could be my feeling off day. <laughs> I purposely didn't start my med start my medication because I didn't want to feel sick this week just in case something worked out to do a vendor event this week but I guess I will be taking it soon 
Because due to insurance, I have to go off one drug that I cannot afford and have to go back on the old one. And the last time I switched, uh, last time I went on metformin, I was sick for like a week, two weeks. So, so I'm hoping my body, because I've only been off of it for a month, is not too not used to it. If that makes any sense. And hope I don't have too many problems. Super city girl question, but do chickens depend on you for food or do they eat grass and bugs? Well, I guess they can survive on their own for a bit, to be honest. I'm not a chicken. I, I love chickens. I never own them, but I would assume they can survive on their own for a bit and fend for themselves. But when they are, just like anything else, when they're domesticated and they're used to you feeding them, why go look if you're being fed? That's what I think. I could be completely wrong, though, because I don't own chickens. <laughs> I'd love to. I'd love to own ducks, too. But unfortunately, I'm not where I can. <laughs> so that's the only thing I would say. If they're d domesticated and used to you always bringing them food, they might not fend for themselves. It's just like some of our, like, besides the point that our turtles are an invasive species and they will take over everything. That's why you're not allowed to, like, just release them in the wild, the red ear sliders, especially. Uh, but when they're used to being fed and pampered, they might not know how to fend for themselves. So anything in captive bred, this is why there was a big thing about captive breeding. They might not fend for themselves because they're just, they've gotten so used to being domesticated. I should have specified question was directed at our qu chicken queen. Oh, for sure. Sh definitely she know would know all the answers. She is the chicken queen. Her and I think it's Case Needs is another chicken person. If I'm correct, I could be wrong. So I know there's one more. I didn't even think about that one, J-Rob. That's true, too, when they're being in a pen. Obviously, they've eaten all the grass and stuff around there. There wouldn't be much to forage. Yes, Casey is also. Oh, I was right. Okay. Trust me, I'd love to own them. If the city walked by, and be like, hey, you can put chickens in your backyard. I'd be like, boom, done. Not even thinking twice. But I also want ducks. But ducks are a little more. Oh, I didn't. That wasn't. See, that wasn't that good pickup. We missed the acorn up. But it's okay. It happens. There's a lot of chicken people, a lot of anime people into nails. It's kind of cool to see people's likes and dislikes. You don't really see wild chickens. Mm, no. My, my, you would see more wild ducks than you would chickens any day. But I would assume they could still semi-fend for themselves. You know, kind of like the survival of the fittest thing. Okay. That one's top coated now. Do you kind of, I don't know, I kind of feel like the stamps stand out more with that little bit of gel underneath. They don't get muddled in, I think. I could be wrong. But there's just, there is a different effect that's coming off of it. I don't know what it is. I don't know if you guys can see it on the camera. But it's just, there's something about it that just, I don't know. 
obviously it's not as big of a transition as that other girl's because obviously she uh, or a guy I don't, shouldn't assume everyone's a girl um because you can see the shadows on under hers like because the gel was a little thicker which i kind of figured that would be the case i would need to make the gel a thicker gel but i don't want to make the press-ons too thick Well, that's true too, Jerob. You are right. Because there's many people that I see that have chickens, and they, they don't if they didn't put them inside the pen, or like, especially people that like to free range their chickens, they don't put them back inside the house at nighttime. The coyotes and <laughs> get gnomed. <laughs> get them. I've seen a few people losing their chickens, and I think it was. Uh, I like to watch. Uh, what was it? Paul Cafaro and his little pigs and all that, and I think it was. One of his ducks got caught. I think it was a duck. And I can't remember. Obviously, the smaller the nail, the less of it I'll get to fit on, so I'll have to decide what part of the leaf goes on, I guess. And depending on how small it gets, you won't even get the acorn in the middle. Ah! Stuck to the roller! You notice your thumb is healed? Nice! That's always good. Healing is the best thing. I don't like hearing about injuries. Just like last night, as soon as I was getting ready to go upstairs to watch Ramon, Nova comes down with the fact that he cut his finger on his can. He cut his can slipped and he went to pick it up or something. And I was like, of course. And then, you know, kids don't ever want to clean their cuts because they know it hurts. And, you know, as they get older, it's even harder because. They know it hurts, and then you're not the kid you can trick and be like, Oh, no, no, this is different spray this time. You, they know what's coming. Mm. And then the funny part was him last night. He was like, I can do it myself. I'm like, if you don't do it properly, I'll pin you, and I'll do it properly. <laughs> oh, yes, the stamping page. Because it was like, uh, I guess it was more like one of, well, not that one. Because I know these ones have like this little, thicker backing. I guess it was one of, more like one of my other ones that I don't like because they are easy to cut because they literally are just metal. I like the ones that they put this little backing on. But you know, plates be plates. <laughs> I keep sailing in the house for wound washing on the kids. Nope, me. Uh, you get, you get rubbing alcohol. You get peroxide. Whatever I have in the house at the time to clean the wound, you're getting. I don't care how much it stings. <laughs> right now, I have some peroxide and some rubbing alcohol. It's just so funny. I was at my nail station last night, so um, I have a big bottle of rubbing alcohol at the top of my nails up there. And I was like, well, come here. I'm pouring rubbing alcohol on you to clean your wound. And then I need you to put a band-aid on it because, well, you're a boy and it's almost bedtime. And I know you're going to be into stuff. So until I knew that it was going to be okay, I was like, no, put that on. I was going to say, where did I put the black polish? No, I used to also have the liquid band-aid stuff. Because you know how, like, kids and band-aids are. 
but he put one on last night. He's like, the band too small, it's coming off. I'm like, well, you can have it without the band Just remember, don't touch anything because you want it to kind of seal over and clot first because it's still bleeding. Oh yeah. Yeah, I know. Peroxide is not my go-to, per se, but it's whatever I have here. I do have peroxide here because, uh, yes, it cleans living tissues, but uh, the one thing uh, I do like about it is if you're having an abscess or something to do with your gums, you can use equal parts peroxide to vinegar, uh, to vinegar, to water, swish it in your mouth and spit it out and it like instantly helps with the pain. So I always try to have it on hand for things like that because I'm prone to getting them in my mouth since after I had my son, everything went downhill. Because when I was pregnant with him, I had to get a root canal, but I couldn't get a root canal because you're pregnant. So it led to one disaster after the other. Plus, I was when I was pregnant with him, I had the worst morning sickness in the world. That uh, I literally kept down nothing. Even to the hour before he was born, I couldn't keep down food or water. So then they had to... Uh, I have an emergency to get him out because just before he came out, I was puking like black tar. <laughs> um, what did I do with the? Oh, there it is. I'm gonna say, what did I do with the top coat now? I just rinsed it off after using. And then use alcohol. Yeah, it depends on what I have on hand. Like, if it's a deep cut, even though, yes, it will kill light tissue, sometimes I want it to bubble up the dirt. Because, you know, one day he had rocks in his knee, and I wanted to get the rocks out. And I just knew the bubbling effect would help to get the rocks out and then clean it up. But if I don't have any rubbing alcohol, peroxide will do the trick. Just need something there to clean it. That's like I tell the kids, like, even when you're out in, like, public, and I might have done some dumb things growing up, because, you know, I grew up in the wilderness. I was Mowgli. <laughs> Don't do what I do, because, you know, after year, more years of knowledge, you realize, like, wait, that might not have been the right way to do something. And then it's, oops, that was too late. But I always told them, never, if you cut yourself try to find a water bottle to rinse off if you have to last chance use the lake don't use any lake or rivers or anything unless you utterly have to because the bacteria that could be in there oh my goodness but if you can find a natural spring that's your best bet but there's many times where i've had to like stick my finger in the salty ocean but thankfully it was the ocean <laughs> so it's salty to clean things but that's what I find. I know you can hear these gloves. I bet you guys. I bet you there's a lot of ASMR going on with these gloves today, because <laughs> they're really driving me crazy. But I'll show you guys the video again of what for those who just joined or joined in late of what we were tempting, I guess you'd say, to do, but. We didn't get the same effect. Oh, I don't want to go into my Amazon. Don't be silly. Ooh, you need to buy Marie. I like of those. Dang. 
That reminds me of the dress that I was gonna do nails like this on. Oh my goodness. Smoking magnetic flames. Yeah, that's... Oh my goodness. Sorry. But it's just so many. She did nails to something that I was going to do nails to next. Just because I saw it and I liked it. So if you have a unique library, I don't want to show it because she's not here to ask. Uh, you'll see it, but I'm going to show you the inspo first on... Then you can kind of get an idea of what it is, but this is exactly... This was a set of nails I wanted to do after seeing this. Like, I love this dress. Love it! I absolutely love it. Just like I posted in Discord today. Like, gorgeous. I want this. I don't know where I have to get it, but I want it. But back to you. That I love. I absolutely love. <laughs> I want it. It's <laughs> everything. I let my dogs kiss, but that's what, through understanding, they have germs and bacteria. That is true, but you know, as I tell the kids sometimes, which is so bad because I try to make them as intelligent as possible. And, you know, not go through things, but sometimes I'm a little blunt and I'm like, well, God made dirt and dirt don't hurt. <sniffs> Sorry. Because sometimes I'm like, okay, I, like, I did it a lot as a kid. I'm still alive, so it dropped on the floor. Yeah, you're good. I'm trying to find, what am I trying to find? Oh, here. So this was the idea from today's nails. You see how hers, or whoever this is, uh, you see they need to put a thicker layer. Maybe that's what I did wrong, but I didn't want to make it too thick. But you see how, like, I know theirs was white on white, too. You see how, like, the stamping is like a layer above so that's what I kind of wanted to go with for this one. So that was the inspiration behind this one today. And I, th I, I do see a bit of that effect. Like I can see a bit of it. It doesn't look like it's just stamped on like normal stamping. I guess you say, I don't know. Like I said, that could also just be my head. But there's just something about it. <laughs> Holy crow. Something. I've been tr I drank a whole bottle of water. I know I'm not dehydrated, so why am I yawning? And what? How did it. funny because this morning I woke up and I was like it doesn't feel like a Thursday now as the evening's pressing on I'm like now I'm kind of getting tired <laughs> explain this who invented this I already saw that one out need a new one oh Something's not going right in my belly, though. What is it? Didn't eat anything that I shouldn't have eaten. Why am I having this experience? Well, it was take... It was takeout food. Takeout pizza. Am I getting... And what could I eat that last night? If I had food poisoning, I would have already had last night, not today. I don't know what's going on. It's just something that's not agreeing in my stomach right now. And it's really baffling the poop out of me. 
I know I'll be okay. I keep getting these goosebumps, like, out of nowhere. I don't understand. And it's like, it's 26 degrees Celsius in my house. It's not hot or it's not cold. It's actually perfect temperature. So I have no idea what's going on. The body is doing something. Right? Weird, right? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, it's coming out of all out of nowhere. But it's okay, because I'll end up finishing this set anyways. But it's just... I don't know, something's not right. Something is just not settling right, and it's like got my brain kind of in a fog. Cause I'm like, no, I didn't eat anything that would make me sick, and I know I'm not sick. So it's like, why am I feeling like this? Thankfully, you know, after I'm done the stream tonight, besides making pasta for supper, I get the rest of the night off. So, to me, that's good. I know, it's weird. I'm top coding as I go today. Are you nauseous? The thing is, I don't really feel nauseous, but, like, it, it's... Uh, the, every time I have one of those cold shivers, a little bit of the nauseous is coming in. I have no idea what's going on. Like, I haven't taken anything... Oh, you know what I should do? Maybe that's what's going on. Maybe I haven't eaten enough today. But I had pizza and a grilled cheese. That's a lot of food. I'm wondering. I don't think I have any strips down here. Maybe you should take a break and walk around and get some water to try to poop. <laughs> I don't think it's that, but I'm wondering. I'm just going to take off my gloves for a second. Maybe it's part of these gloves to make me so clammy and sticky. Um, but no, I want to see. Maybe. I gotta see. I think I used all my strips on Nova the other day. I don't know if I have any strips left. Okay, I'm gonna put be right back. In two seconds, I gotta go upstairs to see if I have any strips. I'm gonna check my sugar. Maybe something's off of my sugar today. Be right back, guys. I'm just going to put that on. Be right back. Real quickly. Sorry. Pressing everything, clicking everything. Got more strips. Okay, huh. let's check and see if that's what's going on. It's just very weird because it's out of nowhere. Which, that's how every sickness starts, right? Out of nowhere. This. And the, what does the verdict say? Oh, 5.6. So my sugar is good. Okay, so it's not a sugar crash. 
That's good news. Evening doll working on coursework and doing a bit of lurking. Have a wonderful stream to you. Thank you, thank you. I've just been feeling a little off. So I just shook my sugar, but it's saying 5.6, so that's fine. I pretty much drank a whole bottle of water. I don't know what's going on. It just came out of nowhere. Absolutely nowhere. You know what? I'm going to put on another pair of gloves. Like, I can understand maybe if I ate the polish. <laughs> but that's why I thought, okay, maybe check my sugar. But I don't know. It's, I keep, look, I'm just getting these random goosebumps out of nowhere. Like, it's absolutely insane. I don't know what's going on. Like, I feel fine. I feel fine. That's the, it's just minus every time the goosebumps hit. Like, it just makes me feel weird. Now your sugar was high before and dropped now. It looks normal. Most of the time my sugar, well, I'm still on my Ozampix, which that's the drug I had to go off. I have to go off because next week, so I might be feeling a little under next week. But, um, because I'm going to have to go back on the metformin and stop taking that one. But it's just, it's weird because, like, I don't feel hot. I'm not dehydrated. Not that I'm aware of because I've been drinking water all day. And it's like, I don't know where it just all just like came. So bizarre. Nope, because I don't take metformin yet. But I gotta start it on Saturday. Saturday's when I start taking metformin and I stop taking the Ozampic. So I can expect Saturday I might feel like crap. Sunday I might feel like crap, so I don't know if game night will 100% go ahead. It all depends on the transition between the meds, how that works. But there's been no med changes, there's been nothing to, like, say I've been off. So it's like, this is just bizarre to me. Like, usually when I'm coming down with something or something, I know. And I can, like, okay, you know what? I'll cancel the streaming today because this is going to happen. Like, I usually have a little warning or, like, something that tells me about it. But there's, there's nothing today. It's just... That could be a bit of stress, maybe. But I haven't been stressing that much. Like, it's not... I don't... I'm not... I'm not stressing over the vendor's event because that got cancelled. <laughs> not having a panic attack. <laughs> But it's just, it's absolutely bizarre. It's okay. We're almost done. Then I'll make the kids their pasta for supper and I'll probably just lay down the rest of the night. I won't push it tonight to do anything. I was going to remake these bubbly nails, but I think maybe I'll just take the night to relax. So that way hopefully I can stream tomorrow. I get chilly after eating sometimes. Really? Hmm. But I've not had that one. That's an interesting one. I usually am chilly. It's the funny thing is my room is bipolar, as I like to call it, because in the morning, my room is hot and disgusting. And, like, I have to leave it. When I wake up, I can only be in there for, like, ten minutes before I'm like, oh, out. At nighttime when I'm going to bed, I have to put a blanket on because it's freezing. Like, my bedroom is, like, it has its own mind of what it's going to be compared to the rest of the house. Like, it's absolutely insane. Absolutely insane. Like, I can't even control it. It just has a mind of its own. But I do want to compare. I might take out one of the stamping ones we did the other day. Cause I want to. I want to see if there really is any different effect to the stamping. 
Because I personally feel there is, but uh, I don't know. I just don't know. Maybe... Maybe secretly the, the one piece of pizza I had this afternoon was the food poisoning piece. I don't know. But the funny thing is, the kids usually in the hobby can eat the same thing as I do. And if I get food poisoning, sometimes it's weird because, like, I'm the only one that gets it. And I'm like, but how can it be food poisoning? You guys had the same stuff as me. Like, I get full-blown food poison where, like, I'm puking, going through me both ways, you know? kind of deal. Whereas they only get like, maybe a little bit of the poops. And I'm like, how is this fair? Like, I'm like head in a bucket and on the toilet at the same time and you guys just, meh, my stomach's a little upset. But it's just absolutely weird for like this to be so random out of nowhere. But it's okay. We only got three more nails to go. We got this. And then maybe I'll go take a Pepmol Dismal or... But I don't really feel nauseous, so I don't understand what's going on. It's just absolutely bizarro. I like having answers to things, as you can tell. <laughs> If I can justify it, then I'm okay with it. When I can't justify it, that's when I'm like, hmm. Could be that I've had too much dairy. And I haven't had a lot of dairy in a while, so. Maybe my system is like, hey. You put this in me, now I want to, uh. Deal with it. The thing is, I'm not lactose intolerant, and I don't think you just suddenly become lactose intolerant. <laughs> okay. Why are you not? And now we're not getting good pickups. <laughs> I feel like good. Where is that one? I wonder if I put it up here if I just saw it. Yes, this is it. I need a sponge. <laughs> That's what it feels like to me. better. Yeah. These gloves too. I think it's just because I hate these gloves. That's my story and I'm going to stick into it. Because of my hate for these gloves. That's what's giving me the goosebumps. Okay. Clean that off. Leave that there. Put that over here. And we're going to clean off these. So we're going to have ground beef, or as the kids call it, red sauce with meat pasta. Because if I'm making chicken pasta, they know it's going to be herbo garlic cream cheese. 
with the chi with the chicken on the pasta, cause that's the way I roll. But today is gonna be red sauce, so at least I know. Even if I do end up still feeling a little icky, at least pasta is like twenty minutes and done. Kind of just like tacos, you know, just quick making of it and you're done. It's not like when I want to make jerk chicken and all these roasted potatoes. <laughs> That takes a little more time. Oh wait, did I just stick that in there? Hopefully I didn't make this gray. If I do, it's not the end of the world because I do have a white. I do have one more white. Let's see what else I guess I can binge watch because I just I finished the keep breathing that J Rob said about. I like that storyline. That was a nice storyline. Kind of hit home though. <laughs> but it's all good. <laughs> and then last night uh, before Ramon's uh, stream, I was watching Bullet Train because I was like I haven't seen that in a hot minute, and I wanted to re-see it. I wonder what I want to see tonight. While well, I just sit down and take it easy for the rest of the night. Definitely will probably check my sugar by the time I'm done streaming. Just to make sure that everything's good. Oh, see, I don't have apple, so that doesn't work for me, Wendy. I'm not an apple user. I did I did try the free trial for Apple on my Fire Stick once. Just for a show that I wanted to see. <laughs> so I already used up that free trial. Run Rabbit Run. I think I seen that. I'm trying to remember. If I have seen Run Rabbit Run. Anything is, I almost, I almost went. Oh wait, tonight is Mo Ramon's movie night. No, no, no. See, so it's not Friday yet. It's, we're still here on Thursday. It might as well be Friday though, right? Because we're all working for the weekend. Nova, did you go to the bathroom upstairs? Or did my front door just blow open? I think that's the bathroom upstairs. A couple of squeaky doors in the house. I think it's a Australian about a little girl who started acting weird. Okay, maybe I didn't see that one. 
think I'm thinking of something else then. This one's with a guy that... I think he's on a time lapse of some sort. Oh my goodness. So I like I don't maybe that's not the name of it because now I don't know what the name of it is, but it's it's a yellow is it rabbit hole, I think? I think this rabbit hole. That's where I'm getting confused with rabbit hole. Pretty sure that's what the name of that one is that I watched. But it didn't have all the I don't think it had all the episodes out at the time. So I might have to go back into watching that one. Oh, maybe I'll check that out. Run, rabbit, run. And where is that one? Netflix, uh, Amazon Prime. Yes, Netflix. Oh, okay. Maybe I'll check that one out after the stream. Pay to be done with shedding season. <laughs> I love my huskies dearly. I really and truly do. But twice a year, I tolerate the first couple of days, and after that, I'm just like, Gah! <laughs> it looks creepy. Okay, just give me one second. I gotta check because Rose just went to the door. And I don't want her to run away. No dog Rose running away. It's closed. Okay. Maybe you hear daddy coming home. Maybe that's why you went to the door. But the door's closed. And that's the main thing. Woohoo! The door's closed. I thought she was gonna... Because she's our escape artist. Out of all the dogs, she is the escape artist. And Milo's too old that he was like, mm. Unless there's bacon out there. He ain't getting me to move nowhere. Oh, the last one to be stamped. The last one. Not bad. Oh, it's like, what color did I get? It looks creepy. Well, I like creepy and horror shows, so. You know. I'm okay with that. I am actually more than okay with that. Bam! I was gonna say, where did I put the nail? <laughs> Somewhere in outer space is where I put the nail. You know what? Still try to put that little acorn in. Did you watch Tin and Tina? Those kids were crazy. No, I don't think I have. Or well, maybe I have because I'm bad with names. Oh, and I just put the wrong color in the wrong spot. Oh, good. Because I am bad with names. Maybe I have seen it. Sometimes I just have to do the picture or a little clip of the show and then I'm like, oh, okay, yeah, I've seen that one. The only reason I remember the, the summer I was pretty is because of, like I thought, like, wow, what a horrible name. You were only pretty for a summer? Kind of deal, you know? I just found that it's a very witty name, and obviously because it was recent that I watched it.
put that one off to the side a little bit maybe okay we are done with our stamping plate I'm just gonna give it a light cleaning not a full cleaning because I'll clean that after put that in the garbage move these two off to the side this in the garbage give a little wipey wipe of the desk okay take off these horrendous gloves because I told you I absolutely hate these gloves and top coat the last nail I'll cover up my stamper which is disgusting I told you I'm a messy stamper like I don't know how these people stream and have nice clean stuff like who, who, who are they why why is your stuff so pretty mine's a mess it's not fair I don't know. There's something definitely. I don't know. Maybe the little bit of gel is a trick for something, but I, I don't know. I want. To, well, actually, I said I want to compare, but I forgot. I have stamping on my own nails. So. So I picked the best looking nail. <laughs> I kind of like this one still. But. I don't know. Is it only me? Or do you see a little difference putting the gel underneath? Or does it look the same to you guys? I'm trying to get like a better camera angle, I guess. Obviously, thicker gel definitely to get the effect like that video, but... I don't know. There's something a little different about it. I don't know what it is. Can't pinpointed it. it's hard to tell right it's, it, it is hard to tell on the like as I'm looking at the screen while I'm showing you guys there it does look a little harder to tell and in person I can kind of see a little difference but obviously I know it'd be with a thicker gel underneath it would look more maybe I'll do a couple thick ones later just to see and this this will be at least my post which well oh my gosh what is going on now i'm yawning and i got goosebumps again okay i guess that's the, the, the that's, that's telling me it's time to end stream today oh you're on your phone so it's tiny yeah well i'll take a picture of it and put it in discord for everyone to see the final verdict obviously the thicker would give the better shadow effect like that video but obviously that's how it works. Well, I guess that I'm going to end stream a little earlier than I normally do. Only because I'm going through this body buzz of something. I have no freaking clue what's going on. Maybe I just need to eat something more. Maybe I haven't eaten enough today. I don't know. Just. Maybe I just need another Pepsi Zero. <laughs> But I guess we'll end it here, my friends. Thank you guys all for stopping by. And thankful, thank you guys for, like, you know, trying to support me here going through this little weird goosebump stage. Because, see, they're all back. Oh, my goodness. Like, ridiculous. I don't know what's going on. So I guess it's time for me to call it quits today and uh, try to figure out what the heck is going on. But thank you all for coming by. Remember to stay positive. I should be streaming tomorrow, unless for some reason something, some bu I'm coming down with some bug. If not, I will be streaming tomorrow. We will be streaming. So I will see you guys all next time. Having a wonderful evening. Remember to always stay positive and be the best you you can be. I'll see you guys all next time. Thank you. Bye. No worries if you're late, it's okay. Anyone can be late. If you miss a stream, it's okay. But thank you all for coming in. But, bye. <laughs>
I will let you guys know if anything progresses in my Discord, but I think I should be fine. I don't know. I'm just going to try and figure out what's going on because it just feels weird. But I'll see you guys all soon. Bye.